Our journey starts in the early 2000s, when the political landscape of Ukraine was fraught with corruption and internal strife. This weakened the country's governmental structure, making it an easy target for external forces. The second reason takes us to the mid-2000s, where Ukraine's economy was struggling. The lack of financial resources hindered the country's ability to maintain a strong military force, further exacerbating its vulnerability. As we move into the late 2000s, we see the third reason unfolding, the political divide within Ukraine. The East-West divide created a breeding ground for conflict, making it difficult for the country to present a united front against Russia. The fourth reason dates back to 2008, when Ukraine's bid to join NATO was rejected. This left the country without the support of a powerful military alliance, further isolating it in the face of aggression. The fifth reason takes us to the year 2013, when Ukraine's then-president Yanukovych rejected an association agreement with the European Union. This decision isolated Ukraine from potential Western allies, leaving it more exposed to Russian influence. Moving into the mid-2010s, the sixth reason arises from the annexation of Crimea by Russia. This bold move demonstrated Russia's military might, leaving Ukraine in a precarious position. The seventh reason is associated with the ongoing conflict in the Donbass region. The inability of Ukraine to regain control over this territory further weakened its position against Russia. The eighth and ninth reasons relate to the international response to the conflict. While many countries condemned Russia's actions, the lack of concrete action and support for Ukraine left it to fend for itself. Finally, the tenth reason points to the ongoing political instability and corruption within Ukraine. These issues continue to weaken the country's ability to effectively resist Russian aggression. In summary, the reasons for Ukraine's loss in the war against Russia can be traced back to internal issues such as corruption and political instability, economic struggles, and a lack of international support. These factors, compounded over time, led to the country's inability to effectively resist Russian aggression. As we reflect on these points, we are reminded of the importance of unity, strong leadership, and international alliances in maintaining a country's sovereignty and security.